Hello! Welcome to This Game Gets Dicey, a live stream on Twitch that is actually being uploaded to YouTube. So if you're seeing this, it's because you're watching it on YouTube. My name's Paula. And my co-host for this show is... Hello, I'm Matthew. Nice to see you. <laughs> Today, uh, we are going to be playing The Dark Mage, which is a graphic novel adventure uh, published by Van Ryder Games, who is sponsoring this playthrough, so a big thank you to them. It's a choose-your-own-adventure style graphic novel, and uh, we're going to jump in right now to the intro, a little overview of the rules. We're going to create our character, and there'll be a little bit of Twitch nonsense here. We're talking to chat a little. There are a couple of alerts, but nothing too distracting. And we hope that you enjoy and thank you for watching. What's happening today, Paula, in the realm of this stream? We that doesn't are look playing... like a board game. Well, it's a book game. I think you want. <laughs> it's a book game. So Van Ryder Games this month, I'm not playing Final Girl. I am playing something else from Van Ryder Games, and Matthew is joining in for that. Uh, I'm here. Matthew's I here. am here. And uh, this is part of their graphic novel adventure series, which I've not uh, done before. I've not played any of them, but it does feel like something I would like, right? Because it's very like choose your own adventure. There's a bunch of them. Uh, they're about to be kickstarting their season five, uh, which there's a link in the sponsor when the sponsor stuff drops. Um, there's a link to that Kickstarter. Here, I'll just do it right now. Our sponsor. Let's just see. When does it launch? I don't know, but soon. Should I start wearing tank tops? Yeah. Like like not tank tops, but like like crop tops. Oh, crop tops! If you want to, yeah. Like come from an 80s horror movie? Yeah, totally. I say yes. Um, they also have in season five, or series four of it, because there's a bunch of them, a Sherlock Holmes one. This one's about being like a werewolf. This one's about being a vampire hunter. There's like a kid one that's in the other room. Um, but we chose today to do The Dark Mage. And it's like a choose your own adventure comic book, graphic novel. I actually don't know what to expect here, other than you doing a lot of reading and me listening. So it's going to be another, yeah, another stream of me doing a lot of reading and Matthew helping me make choices. Um, so you have a character sheet, but I have printed, you can also print them out on their website. So I've printed one out so we can actually write on it, rather than writing in the book. Um, and we're just going to like... Who read. are you? C printing in color in your own home? Isn't this crazy? I forgot that that printer is a color printer. And then it printed, and I was like, oh, that looks nice. Printing in color at home is, I'll be honest with you, the height of your middle class showing. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you need, sometimes I need to, like, print a prop or whatever, and I don't want to go to freaking Kinko's. Yeah, look at that. I was like, wow, this is nice. Bougie print quality. Okay, everyone. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, Paula. I don't mean to get on to you about uh, you being a uh, about being bougie because you just, don't. It, nice to have a printed. I just <laughs> printed and I put it in color and it's nice. I just printed something. I don't know what it's that means. in color and it's nice and it makes the game look nice and I thought the sponsor would like it. Ugh. What? Okay, so I'm gonna read you. I have actually already read the intro, but I'm gonna read it to you. Hola. Do you need to know? I needed to get a sense for what was happening. Uh, how dare and you? And how it worked. So, well, read it to me then, and do it well. How does this look for everyone? Uh, Don't mess this up. Do it really good. <sighs> does anyone else and have a hard time? I sometimes have a hard time reading graphic novels or comic books because I see everything and I want to look at all of it at once. I know what you mean. Um, okay, so we have like a letters being dictated here. Um, but who enjoys dealing? But who enjoys dealing with their creditor? The sooner I'm done, the better. If he's satisfied and keeps his promise, I'll finally be able to claim. So that's the, it's being like dictated as a voice off uh, camera is saying, the position of first Imperial Volcave. Shall I add and pull the rug out from under my brother, honey? Says pig guy. Grix, 
It's safe to say that I appreciate your help more than your sense of humor. Go find the candelabra. I'm almost done. At once, master! So we have this guy in front of the fireplace and the thing. I don't know. I also exactly. have a hard time reading. Oh, that's not what you're asking, Saskatchewan. <laughs> okay, I'm going to so make this full screen so I can see it a bit better as well. Okay, this weird, he gets this, like, candelabra that looks like a hand. Candelabra? <laughs> candelabra, yes. For six abysses' sake. We only have one left. This'll have to do. And he lights it. Poof. And our little uh, guy here. This is who we are playing. This lovely fella. Grix. <laughs> he flies back with his candelabra. Scratch. Blah, boom. Ah. <laughs> A circle of protection. Do you really think I have time to waste in your small, sad universe? If you've called me, it's because you're ready to leave. I'm just waiting for you to renew your promise. Uh, and I'd like to know why you want me to eliminate that woman in particular. This is all the exposition, so I hope everyone's paying attention. Nothing too important. This particular priestess crossed me some time ago. It is now time for her to pay for her treachery. As for your reward, you are already in my debt, boy. You would not have such power without Grix by your side. Remind me, who taught you to summon and subjugate this familiar? Don't bother taking such a tone with me. I know very well I'm in your debt. This mission is intensely dangerous. Killing one of Ocrid's most faithful followers, not to mention the risk of encountering a mage hunter on the road to the monastery, it would appear they are on their toes at the moment. This merits the secrets of Upper Arcana, does it not? <laughs> I give you a hand and you want the whole arm. But that's what I like about you. Very well. You have my word, sorcerer, provided you leave without delay. You needn't many preparations. I assume Grix has everything you need. Be careful not to underestimate your target, and it should... The hand extinguishes. Silence. There are more candles, I assume. <laughs> I can't think of everything, Master. Ugh. Then make yourself useful and add another entry to the journal before we depart. The demon swore. It's time to hit the road. I am tempted to visit the Valley of Chaos to recover the Diavol. If the artifact is really there, its ungodly nature would be of the utmost assistance in protecting me from the divine magic of Anidja Stonova, priestess of Akrid. However, there are few places more dangerous. Perhaps a detour through the capital to seek advice from my sister, Aliona, would be better. The fresh air will help me make up my mind. Once you've read the rules of the game and filled out your character sheet, go to one, go to one, to set out on your sinister mission. Enter Ockard's Monastery, located south of here, two days by foot, and assassinate Venidja Stoneva. Don't tell me what to do. That's our prologue. So. <laughs> Sometimes Sasqueen texts me uh, things that she feels like she shouldn't put in chat, but that are funny, and that was one of those things. What's happening? Oh, I like this. Underscore, underscore says, we need more streams if Paula reading us books. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. And Happier said, the tonal shift to the instructions jarred me. <laughs> okay. So we have game rules. Uh, I'm just going to kind of summarize them for you a little bit here on how this is going to work. So we have numbers on each of the panels and we're not necessarily going to be reading this all in order. We're going to be like flipping around, right? Because different things are going to lead us to different choices and different outcomes. But in this game, so we have our character and we actually have to create our character a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, the uh, magic. Your character knows the arcana of a very powerful but illegal form of magic. We are a dark mage. Indeed, only those who consort with evil creatures have access to these charms and hexes. There are vigilantes and mage hunters who work to capture or neutralize sorcerers who use dark magic. Since you fall into that, cat excuse me, that category, you will indeed be hunted. 
We fell um, into that cactus? We fell into a cactus, yes. Oh dear. Mm-hmm. What a prickly situation we've got ourselves into this time, that one. <laughs> what a prickly situation, that's pretty good. So, uh, we need to be careful because using this magic is going to draw attention to us in a way that we don't like. But we have, uh, there are four distinct domains of forbidden magic. And we're going to get to choose two of them that we can use. So there is Navitamentum. These spells extract energy from natural elements such as air, water, or fire and can be used to summon a variety of incendiary, glacial, and electric spells. Such so spells are... So make us the Avatar? That sounds one, like it. Sounds like it. I like that one. Such spells are often effective, but quite destructive, as physically exhausting as they are conspicuous. Okay. Then there's Lepa Spiritus. These spells allow you to influence the minds of conscious beings. These spells make it possible to charm, paralyze, or slow down all kinds of creatures, especially the most weary souls. A less trying magic for the sorcerer to cast, although some foes have learned to resist it. Okay. Mutacorpus. Uh, impose dangerous effects on the muscles, blood, bones, or sap the energy of anything that lives. These enchantments can weaken, wither, and break any carnal envelope from a distance. Carnal envelope, what a way to describe a body. It is the most hated form of magic, and its users hey. are the primary targets of mage hunters. Hey. I saw you from across the room, and I couldn't help but say you've got a great carnal envelope going on. <laughs> like, <laughs> please... Do you lift? Do you squat? Yeah. You squat, right? <laughs> then there's transmateria. These spells manipulate inert materials. This category undoubtedly offers the most varied assortment of spells, enabling the corrosion of metals, distant levitation of objects, and can even create a small-scale earthquake. So, well, we I know which one's two, two I would pick. What What would you pick? Well, I think we should... So we've got one, two, three, and four. Mm-hmm. I think we should both write down what we would pick and then reveal and see how close we are together to those things and then make a decision from there. All right, let me grab a little thing. Oh. Carnal of, I know, I know. A Pantalone says, but it's forbidden. Okay. Don't need to look at my to-do list, so let's just, ready? And reveal. I can't see what you've written. Because I read two and four. I thought, come on! One and four. I almost said one and four. So we can do one and four. We're definitely doing four. Let's do four, because four just sounds great. Yeah. So let's do... So we're marking... I want to be... Sheet. Well, let's do two and four then, Paula, because that's fine with me. Ooh, you know what, though? Mm. Don't do it. Don't change your mind now because of what I said, because that's what you always do. Well, we're supposed to choose it together. Yeah, but I'm happy to make the... You, you, yeah, you do it. But you one wanted to do two one. Let's do two and four. Oh, fine. Fine, I guess I'll... And I hope we need one really badly at some point, and we wish we took it, and then I can say, you know, I told you we should take one. <laughs> I'll be like, like you that. skunk. I can be like this, Paula. Yeah. Told you since a one. Like that. What a skunk. What a skunk. How would I do it? How would I, do it? <sighs> I told you we should have taken one. There's more shoulders in what I did, but yeah, <laughs> I like it. It's pretty okay. good. Okay. So basically the way this is gonna work is there are symbols associated with each kind of magic. The ones we have chosen is this one. And this one. So when these symbols are shown on a panel, it means that you could use that kind of magic in response to whatever's happening. And then we will turn to a specific page based on that. We will subtract 10 from the number if we're using Lepo Spiritus of the panel that we're on, and that'll give us the panel that we go to. But we'll add 10 for Transmateria to find our new panel. That'll I'm sure there's like a mathematical algorithm that tells you how to like lay out these books to yeah. do this, but in my mind, it's crazy, impossible. right? It's crazy. Impossible. Um, and then it says, choose wisely when casting a spell because certain areas of magic may not be appropriate for the situation. Sometimes it's beneficial to not use any magic, but each spell we cast will- uh, Says who? Says Muggle. the rules. 
We have mana, and whenever we cast the spells, it will cost us mana. We start with 30. Um, I can't cast that. Then the amount of mana will be indicated in the story. Yeah, I can't cast that. Um, if our mana goes down to zero, we can no longer use magic. Do not spend mana haphazardly, uh, as you will need to say some for the final step of your quest. Consider yourself warned. I'll be honest, I would be using it haphazardly. Big time. <laughs> we might be able to gain mana, but we can never go over our value of 30. That's max. That's crazy. Oh yeah, happy you're here. I also, I read a lot of like Choose Your Own Adventure books when I was a kid. I didn't read any Choose Your Own Adventure books, but I did really? used to read, all, I read all the horrible history books when I was a kid. Mm. But There's did, a stream actually yeah. that uh, they do on Loading Ready Run where they read through those classic, like, um, those classic, like, Ian Livingston, Choose Your Own Adventure books. Yeah. Like, they read all, they're just like, you die. <laughs> so, so You die. Like, they're yes. trying to get, they're trying to get like, through it. You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> you lose your footing and you die. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. I died a lot in those books. Um, oh, Happy Year has Doctor Who ones. That's so cool. A. Pantalone, yes. This is our uh, familiar, the angry winged pig. His name is Grix. I do like pigs. This is pretty good. Uh, do I or okay. do I not, Paula? Have, have I or have I not in the past shown my affinity for pigs? You have, yes. Matthew loves pigs. I do love pigs. I like how they waddle. And they're always happy to see you. They're like you this. love anything that waddles. They, they walk up to you like they're really happy to see you like this, Paula. You got a lot of uh, shoulder movement you're having in today. Well, I mean, it's such a small box, Paula. I've only got so much I can... <laughs> um, I've been okay. told I'm very handsy, so this is all I can do on camera. <laughs> so we start with tin darkness. Um... The higher the darkness, the more likely we are to attract the attention of holy priests and mage hunting fanatics. Um, our our amount will never decrease. It will start to increase if we use darker spells. So we want to be careful about the amount of darkness we're getting. My okay, favorite animal is otters, Ben. Dark Satanica says Robotron does a great fighting fantasy read through at UKGE. Jeez. Yeah, it's the fighting fantasy books I'm thinking oh, of. So cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, we might end up with possessions uh, that we can uh, write down on here. Right now, we only have writing materials, but we might end up with things. Um, well, obviously, because you're literally writing down right now. Yeah. How thematic, actually. How thematic. Cool. Here's one thing I want to to say, and then we and then we get started. This is when finally. We enter the, when do we enter the mind palace? Uh, we're about to. Okay. Finally, remember to examine each panel closely, and you might find other panel numbers hidden amongst the scenery. Oh, no. <laughs> Sometimes these numbers provide access to a roundabout path, an object, or a clue that may prove helpful on your quest. If you arrive at a panel where you are unable to continue, as indicated by the text and or a skull symbol, you are dead and have therefore failed in your quest. You can restart your adventure from the beginning with a new character, concentrate on different areas of magic, and make different choices on your new journey. Or turn back about it. Yeah, or just like go like save scum. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was what were you telling me about how you were save scumming something the other day? What were you saying? Uh, uh, you were playing Baldur's Gate. I do a lot of save scumming. Yeah, so, something like that. Yeah. And I was like, I would never, I would never save scum, but I do. Okay, here's our map. We're uh, this is where we're trying to go, Ockridge's Temple. So, okay, I think it said to start at number one, right? Sounds sounds fair. Go to one. Yes. Also, forgot oh, to it mention was, it was solo. You save roll. Like you 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 scum roll. It was it was. We're talking about solo games. Kestrel. Oh, it's because we were um, playing. Vampire the Masquerade chapters, and I was like, if I'd been playing the solo, I would have re rolled that, which isn't cheating, it saves coming. Okay, well, I won't be able to find any secret hidden numbers, Paula, because uh, I can't see things quite as clearly as you can. But I'm sure if you give it a look and work it out, I, I, I appreciate that. You is it have not? The is it uh... uh, with all the wood in the world, a 1080. Even at 1080, the world will win the world. I'm not going to be able to... I can't read the words on the page. Should I, um... Would it help everyone if I zoomed in a little more? 
I don't... Maybe. Well, let's try it. After Oops. all this time. Here, I'm going to zoom in all the way Oops. and just make sure I'm... Oh, I can actually... Okay, 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 okay. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to do focus. I think that's okay. Yeah. Happy here says the broken lands. I suggest we stay away. Also, guess what? I forgot to say hi, YouTube. Hi, hi YouTube. This is going on YouTube. <laughs> I didn't know that until right now. I, <laughs> I probably forgot to would have mention conducted it. myself differently if I'd have known this was going to exist forever. <laughs> I forgot until this moment. You should go visit the pawn shop to recover the amulets you pawned at as collateral last winter. Hmm. I don't think that's a great idea to start our journey by leaving a cadaver behind us. <gasps> you can see it now. This will stop. Yeah, that'll stop moving once. It would be very useful on this expedition. Oh. What? Did you want to read the, his his? That's covered up by my face. I, I just see. saw. Of course, when I, when but I'm I said, no, oh, no rush to put a mage hunter on my tail. You can entertain your familiar's idea by going to fifty six or leave Urgit right away at twenty six. Do we want to go to the pawn shop or no? I think always, I always want to go to a pawn shop. We gotta you, get some stuff. You might find a grenade. So let's go to panel 56. Okay, which is right here. Ching! This is just like ringing a bell. Oh my gosh, look at this dude. It's been a while. It's been a while, Mr. Scribe. Have you come for your amulet? We can take you it can by take it force, by. well, or attempt to negotiate. Why would we need to take it by force? We just negotiate. We just negotiate, yeah. Like why? Here's my negotiation, right? Give me the amulet, or I'll or, kill you. Yeah, it's a great negotiation. We can meet in the middle here. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. There's there's room here. Yeah. So yeah, let's to... negotiate. Okay, so seventy two. And not to look at anything we're not supposed to see yet. Okay, here we go. I've already seen us with our head chopped off, so I think that's uh, something. <laughs> that could be bad. Okay. I would love to buy back the Amulet of Reflection. Do you still have it? Mm, I believe so. It isn't easy to resell such a trinket. You should just be reading this. I can pay... <laughs> I can pay you in advance and make a written commitment to pay the remainder, which you will have no later than five days from now. Even if you promised repayment tomorrow, I wouldn't do it. Promises of payment do not put food on the table. You get me? Yeah, but he's, it just said, he just said he can't sell it, right? So it's not going to put food on the table, just sit in his window. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is it? You can turn the I'll conversation to violence or... uh. Choose discretion and leave the town. So we either we will either have to fight him for it or just give up. That's, uh, I think we. The that's fighting for sounds it. Sounds cool. It's an amulet of reflection. It sounds awesome. Let's do it. That's fighting for it. So, panel thirteen. The thing that we said no to the first time, but he didn't want to negotiate. He was a jerk. If we die straight away, then Shing! that's gonna be it. Zip. Ah. Where's the amulet? Uh, mercy, there. It's just there. Note the amulet of reflection in your possessions. From now on, you can gain two mana points each time you encounter a mirror. Its power only activates once per mirror containing panel. <gasps> worth it. That definitely worth it. That means we can, like... Can we, like... If there's somewhere it says, go to number six... And there's a mirror there, and there, and on that panel it says, "Go back to page 13 of the mirror there," and you can just keep on flicking between the panels, Infinite get a thousand mana. mana. Well, we explode can never go, like a nuclear bomb. We can never go above 30, but yeah, but we can do what we want, really, can't we? So we can do what we want because it's we're the ones playing. Amulet of 
reflection. Also, there's no way we will not be playing through this whole story because there's no time but uh, for that. But we'll play as much as we as we get to. Okay. Oh no. This got dark, even though it's called we, Dark Mage. I think we did straight we kill, up kill him. Yeah. Well, now we own the shop. <gasps> Bye, nerd explaining. We're Says, not a goodie, are we, Ennis? So I've just finish realized. Him. I think we might not be a goodie. It is called Why the Dark finish Mage. It? I don't know. He says, no! <laughs> At least we'll be far from here before anyone finds him. Your darkness increases by two points. Maybe it wasn't worth it. I don't know why we killed him. I yeah. wouldn't have done that. I would have said... Just, like, take and it and then bounce. I'd have, you know, done this, but also left the money. You know? So we're all good. <sighs> I feel yeah, bad. I do too. But we have two darkness. We have two more darkness. So now we have 12 darkness. We're Bummer. more evil. We're more eviler than before. Bummer. Oh well. No going back now. We chose our path. <laughs> We've chosen. That's We got to go all in now. All in on being dark. So this tells us to go. We hurry to leave the village. Panel 84. We tried to negotiate. We did try. It was his own fault for not negotiating with us. Obviously. We're in the right. Yeah. We said work with us here on a layaway plan. And he said no. And we said, okay. Well, you know what's funny? Is we literally did what you said was our negotiation tactic. Which was give us the amulet. Or we kill you. And Makes sense to me. Literally what happened. Um, okay, 84. Stand by. Although more direct, the road to Kamashi is patrolled by Imperials. Best to avoid it. You would do best to find Imperials. help before facing the priestess. I hate Imperials. So annoying. <laughs> exactly, said I seen. Uh, note the artifact code word if you will take the left path towards the Valley of Chaos. Note the sister code word if you head right towards the capital. Then start your journey at 39. Okay, so which way are we going? Do we want to go see our sister or do we want to go after well, we said an we artifact? Should, we did say we should go see our sister, right? He was like, well, maybe we should go see her, but maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we could kill her too. Um, maybe. And that boyfriend that we've not liked since yeah, day one. Yeah, totally. And we, did, we said. We said, we don't like him. Do you him. remember? Yeah, I remember. Never liked him. A basket weaver? <laughs> don't think so. <laughs> so do we think left path, artifact, right path, sister? Let's go. We've already got an artifact. Let's go, let's go see our let's sister. Go sister. Yeah, okay, I will family. Note keeps, things, sister. keeps things together. Right? That's right. All right, then we go to panel 39. Hold on a sec, Grix. Mind making me something to eat? Someone approaches, master. Did you write down whatever thing we used to yes, write I down? Did. To Good. Sister! I believe you. All right. We can choose to hide in the brush or calmly wait for whoever is arriving. I say we, like, get one of those great, like, one of those stems of barley and put it in our mouth and just kind of start chewing on it and lay down with our hat over our face a bit. You know what I mean? Like, we're here every day. There's yeah. nothing wrong with us. We belong here. Now, here we can also, I don't know if you can see this, but we could hide in the green bushes at panel 50, or the, like, wheat field at panel 54, or we just hang out at 20. So do you want to just hang out? I think we hang out at 20. Okay. See what happens. Unless there's some, like, a magical sword in one of those. Hard to say. That's why you got to try. All, that's why you got to look at every option. Flip to every be panel trust. before you I choose. just can't be trusted with these. That's, but yes. 20. Yeah, how bloody is your shirt right now after the murder? <gasps> Whoa, look how cool this person looks. Oh my gosh, it's like one of the seven deadly sins. 
Ba-ding! Shing! Any, any Shing! Seven Deadly Sins fans in town? No, I don't know what Great you mean. <gasps> Great show. We could use magic here, Matthew. Look at this. Okay. Submit yourself, sorcerer. You have the right to a fair trial. Oh, no. It's one of these people that don't yeah. like us. A mage hunter. Apart from a powerful spell, your only hope of survival is to flee across the field to 51. So we can either flee or try to use a spell. We don't have that magic, though. We've or is got... that all the symbols? Uh, that's all the symbols. So we can use yeah. whatever we have. So we can either use Lepa Spiritus, which was um, which, influencing the we... mind of conscious beings. I don't think this conscious being is going to be able to be influenced. Or Transmateria, which um, we could maybe create an earthquake or something. Who knows what will happen? Or we could run. Let's do that. Transmateria. And see what happens? Yeah. Hello, 999999999991 in the Twitch chat. Van Ryder is still doing these. And there is a, a Kickstarter coming soon for season five, which is going to be new books. Since I've played them for a while, and some of them are pretty smart. This is our first time doing it. Um, Yeah, so we're just seeing what happens. Okay. We're playing one right now, and we're not smart. Transmateria. So we add plus 10. To we're this. so dead. Paula, so, we're so I dead. Think we we're go to so. 30. Let me see we're, if we're doing so this right. dead. Yeah, we might be starting over very soon. If the panel at 30 says that we're dead, it's the wrong panel. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, ting. your corrosion spell proves ineffective, but yeah, nevertheless drained you of five mana. Her armor must be enchanted. Hurry and try another kind of magic at 20 before it's too late. Or we okay, can just looks like we're... run. Uh, we so still, we're at we 25 do, do we still... mana now. I think we have to run. I don't think any man, any of our spells are going to do anything against this. Unless we could use our mind powers, but yeah, it might be bad. Just what want to try and running? Well, you you decide. What do you want to Let's do? Let's run. We tried magic. It didn't work. And we went, uh, bye. And then, ping, we ran. That makes sense in a comedian. Like, that's what would happen in the anime, I think. That's true. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's book it. Okay, 51. <gasps> oh, no. Despite her heavy-looking armor, she's gaining on you. You can try turning no, around briskly and hope she st stumbles or casts a spell. So, We're so dead. we could still look cast at a panel spell. 53 quickly, Paula. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Yeah, we're dead. Uh, okay, so what, what do you want to do? Do we hope she stumbles or I think we cast our other spell. Let's do it. I think we cast Lepo Spiritus, which would we only kill defenseless people. Hey, Pansler, look, only take the battles you think you can win. She's not defenseless. She's she's literally a mage hunter. She that's what we're saying. We down. did. That's what. That's what I'm saying. We're running away from the person who's not defenseless. Yeah. We we attack. We attack the merchant. <laughs> oh yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So if we subtract ten from this original panel twenty, we go to ten for our mind control. Make them hit themselves? <gasps> Ooh, this is actually good. Ah, okay. Shing ding. Look, we're running off this way here, and she's going this way. This oh, kind of hallucination costs you six mana. Hasten to 66 while the spell lasts, as she believes she sees you running in the opposite direction. That's good. We're, sm That's we're so smart. good. We're so smart. We are so smart. That was right not now. the last possible choice we could have made. That was the right one, and we made it immediately. It's all about making the right choices at the right time, Paula. And that's what we ended up doing at the, uh, eventually. We only have 19 mana, though. We could use a mirror. Okay, so panel 66. Have a good uh, rest of your day, uh, Kevin. Okay, here we are. Flying, flying, flying. I think we got away. Whew. You're not doing yourself any favors by walking off the path, master. Idiot. You don't think that she's been tracking us since we left Urgot? A mage hunter isn't so easily fooled. Do you have a better idea? Okay, 
Then this says go to 49 if you have the sister code word or 81 if you have the artifact code word. We have the sister code word, so now we go to 49. So Excellent. we survived somehow. We are true geniuses. We of are this game. killing it for sure. All right, here we go. We got all kinds of stuff to happen here. Okay, it looks like he's dictating another journal or letter. Um, Oh no, happy you're here in chat says, okay, insulting your pet. I don't like your character. We're a dark mage. I think we have to learn how to be nicer, maybe. We're a moody mage. Let's be we real. Are, we are, look, how, look how emo we are. You can only see one of our eyes, come on. Haven't seen any sight of the hunter. We reached Bekabad without incident and spent the night at the first inn we found. But entering the court of justice where Aliona officiates will be no easy task. <laughs> Manners don't cost money. Save the Imperial that. Palace. No admin building is more well guarded. Okay. Uh, the patrols are more frequent, and I have no guarantee that my sister will even be willing to help me, despite all the great memories we have. That's all for this morning, Grix. Come on, we're leaving. Yeah, he must make Grix, like, write his journals for him, I think is what's happening. I'd like to be able to leave town no later than this afternoon, if possible. The Court of Justice isn't that far, and you notice a tax collector and wonder if you could relieve him of his official documents. You can always trust a tax collector. You can wait until he leaves or withstand temptation and leave the inn immediately. Do we want to try and steal them or no? Look, that money was just resting in my account. So let's, um, what do you want to do, Paula? I mean, the official documents could be helpful in us doing what we need to do, but it's probably going to increase our darkness if we, like, freaking kill him for them. We could do a murder. We could do a murder. So I'd say we do a murder and see what happens. All right, we wait until he leaves at 8. It does describe it as, like, with with withstanding temptation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, we go we to We have eight. just got to this town and we're already... First thing we're doing... Yeah, are there any hidden numbers? Oh, like hidden oh. numbers? There were some in that bushes when we could have run away. But like hidden numbers. Let me look and see. Like... I'm going to give it a good look. I don't see anything in this panel. But yeah, I mean, that's a good point to like keep paying attention to that. It's like on 45, head. you can see the different numbers for the different things to step on, maybe. It's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is cool. Okay. Eight. Clack. Okay, we're following him. The neighborhood is respectable enough that he can walk around without a bodyguard. <laughs> He'll learn his lesson there. Oh, here's a hidden number. Look, 95 or 37. Okay, so this says, you can drag him into the alley to rob the man far from onlookers, or you can continue tailing him for the moment. Why, why belabor the inevitable? Let's get it over with 37 into the alley. Get down that alley. Let's get down to business to rob this man. Someone. Ooh, someone. That works better. <gasps> Grix. <laughs> we need to get Grix <laughs> under control. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> Yeah, I saw it. Uh, anyway, carry on. So we, oh my gosh, we grab him. <laughs> Excuse me. Doom, boom. Grix says, mm -hmm. oh no, he says, mm -hmm. someone says, mm -hmm. splash. Grix bites him. Blood is everywhere. Holy crap, <laughs> we are murderers. Well, I think you'll find that uh, Pet is the murderer. Yeah, true. We're we just keep here. asking him to do it. Well, who's to say, right? <sighs> if you think about it, really, when you think about it, because of the way that the time works and with with you asking and the way that like petrol motion and the universe and because of the, the way that the stars are, if you think about it that way, with the moon. Yeah. There's no real way to know. Do you know what I mean? Who's to... 
with the you know with this with the moon there i'm just saying that that's right right yeah mm -hmm. yeah happy you're here in chat says i would start to be afraid of insulting the pet anymore yeah seriously yeah, it's not truly, so much it murderers now to... than serial killers <laughs> truly it comes down to entropy somehow look <laughs> It's fine. Right. Okay. Add two um, to your darkness and add the imperial seal to your possessions. You hear passerby Look, on the adjacent road. We have an imperial seal. So we've got a pig friend and now a seal that follows behind us. We have 14, 14 darkness. Yeah, but darkness is our friend. That's how I've always seen life. Oh, darkness, my old friend. I look into the darkness. I'm one with the darkness. I keep committing all these tragedies. I should stop going to imperial cities. <laughs> and I should turn my life around, around. But I love the darkness. Uh, okay, so we can continue searching the body or we can leave the area and continue to the court of justice. We do Watch hear options. voices coming. Continue Sorry. searching the body. Or leave the area and continue to the court of justice, which is I where feel I like our we, sister is. If we search the body, it's probably money that we'll find, right? We've got the imperial seal, which is what we wanted, right? Yeah. I think so. I think we maybe we bounce. We bounce from this. Okay, so this says go to one o two. Uh Or option three, go. Look here, there's been a murder. That's what I would do. Very Jack Shepherd of you. Uh, before we find out what happens as we go to the Imperial Court, whatever, the Court of Justice, I think we shall take a short restroom break. Okay, here you are in front of the Court of Justice, and there only seems to be the one entrance. You can assume the identity of someone with the authority to enter at 77, or present an Imperial seal at 3 if you happen to have one. We oh got gosh, one, we baby, because we, we killed one, so. somebody. Because we didn't, we we relieved them one. of their burdens physically what? and uh, spiritually. spiritually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, Lizzie. Oops. I'm sorry, but this seal doesn't allow entry into the court. You could try obtaining a pass from Awkward's Templars. We killed him for nothing, Matthew. That seal could come in useful ways. Ollie, you don't know that. It's not our fault that guy didn't have much authority. Should we go back to his body and search it? <laughs> no, too late now. Oh, man. It says, why not make friends with the mage hunter while you're at it? Return to 102 to work on your next move. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make friends with the mage hunter. Don't think that's going to work. I don't think that's going to work. So out. we have to assume the identity of... Oh, you know what we could do is we could use some magic. Let's do some magic. Let's try... Um, Have we our... seen a mirror yet? No, but we um, should look for one. Maybe once we finally talk to our sister, there will be a mirror. Because we need mana. Um, I think we should try and use our mind magic to get in. Let's do it. Mind palace, this thing. Let's yeah. do it. I believe So, Lepo Spiritus. So, minus 10. So, that means 92. The spell puts the guards to sleep. Costs you seven mana. But at least you got the result you hoped for. And we can go to page 673 as we go through this door. Heck yeah. Okay, we're down to 12 mana. How much do we get for looking in a mirror? Two? Two. Ugh. We need to look in a lot of mirrors. We need to be careful. We're using a lot of mana. Um. Look, your life points are a resource for us. True, but we need to save them for our final confrontation. Which, I mean, we're not going to get you on this stream, though, so. Maybe we'll talk our way out of the final confrontation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 72. No? Hold on. 73. Yep, that's what it was. I was like, that? No, we've already been here. We killed this guy. Okay. You're back. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. 
says, you know that your sister works on one of the building's uppermost floors, but you couldn't say precisely where. We could either just try and go up the stairs, or it looks like maybe talk to this person or go in this door. I'm not sure, but that's 61 and this is 22. I have a feeling we're going to have to interact with this person no matter what we do, but... Let's talk, yeah, let's just go right up to them so and talk to them. Because if you start walking up the that, stairs, they're yeah. going to be like, They're going to be like, you. who are you? Hmm. I bet. So let's say 61. Good luck sleeping, Narcotic. I need to see Judge Aliona Gyoshev. Could you point me in the direction of her office, please? Head to 34 if your darkness is less than or equal to 14. Otherwise, go to 91. Well, that's okay then, because it is equal to 14. Yeah, but that might be... Maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, that spent feels too like we, much darkness. That, yeah, less that, than or equal to because the less darkness you have, the better off you are. So we might be. Feels like we're just, just on the okay. cusp. On the yeah. cusp of. Uh, we weren't. Yeah. There was probably someone else we could have murdered at some point, and we didn't. So thank you. I mean, I would have loved to. I wonder if rooting through that dead body would have gotten us more darkness. Or we could have. Um, who knows? But all we know is we think we're going to the good page. This is cool, okay. She says, or they, uh, I think that's curled hair or it could be, no, that looks like a beard. This is a person. Climb, climb to the second landing, then take the purple corridor, not the green. Find the door with the chalice on it, knock and wait. I think I might go to Obviously we want to do the green because they specifically said now. not Don't to press do that it. button. Well, I wasn't thinking about it. So 101. Oh, it looks like it just works. Okay. So we walk through the hall. Is there like a secret number that has a green thing on it or anything that we can go kind of like peruse down? No. No, it doesn't look like it. Sorry, oh, everyone. As uh, everyone watching is like, we can't see because I'm looking very closely in my head. It's a good thing everything. you just dyed your hair, Paula. It's otherwise a good you'd be thing roots. you can't see any of my roots. Those okay. gray, gray roots. Hush. <laughs> that was the hush off. Matthew, no, please stop. <laughs> hush. Uh, hush. Enter you. How did you get up here? I don't think our sister is happy to see us. Well, that's, that's a bad dynamic. Yeah. Well, I was hoping for a warmer welcome than that, Allie. I've risked a lot coming to see you. You have. Risked a lot, have you? Or did you kill someone to get into the court of justice? Well, well, you say tomato, I say <laughs> something else, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we can go to, we could, okay, we have two ways of answering. One, we could say, I wish there was another way, I didn't have a choice. Or, no, I didn't have to ah. go that far. Let's say, no, I didn't have to go that far. We didn't kill someone to get into here. We killed someone before this. It wasn't too... We killed someone. Yes. Yes. But as a judge, she should be more specific with her questions. Because she said she should have killed someone to get in here. Well, technically, we, didn't kill anyone we did. To get it in. just didn't help us actually get in. Cause... So we didn't then. So we didn't then. We yeah. killed someone for a seal earlier on. Right. Nothing to do again. The seal didn't get us in, so... That was something it, else. I didn't have to go that far. 58. Is she going to know we're lying? I wonder... She merely says, why should I believe you? You've changed so drastically that when you speak, I find myself incapable of distinguishing truth from lies. Well, that's your, that's on you, really. That's a trust issue, I think. I haven't changed as much as you think. I still love you, Allie. You can place your hand on her shoulder or humbly ask that she let you explain the reason for your visit. We gotta put that's... our hand on her shoulder. I was gonna say, let's humbly, let's not push our luck. Oh. Well. Okay, so. Ooh, I don't know. What should we do? When it comes to this. We disagree. I only have a d4, the worst of all the dice to roll. It's horrible. But odds, we touch on the shoulder, and evens, we. Uh, Humbly do the, explain. Do the okay. smart thing, which has the word humble before it. Fine. So we could do odds, that. You're convincing me. 
Odds for Paula even to Matthew in his brain and his giant brain. Well, looks like we're doing what Paula says. No, we're going to do what you said. No, we rolled the dice of fate. Let's do what Paula wanted to do and all remember who wanted to do it. Fine, 87. <laughs> Don't touch me. If I come to see you, it's precisely because I respect your advice, even if, to my ears, they sound a little more like reproaches. She doesn't answer. You continue, explaining the nature of the pact you made with the demon prince. Proceed to 64. Okay, she didn't hate us. Well. And that's why I've come to see you. I need your help now more than ever. Help that you will not receive. Did you really think I would help you eliminate a citizen as respected as Venija Stuneva? But we can't get you out of this situation by tackling this problem from another angle. There is a way to save you from Visago's influence, but you need the courage to act as a man and not as a slave. He's a prince demon, Allie. If I don't respect the contract, best case, I lose my powers and most likely my life. Listen to me carefully, because this is all you will get from me. Ockard's belt was stolen five years ago by the birdmen of the Howling Hills. It is one of Don't several... I know it. <laughs> Seriously. It is one of several sacred artifacts dedicated to neutralizing demonic powers. If I were you, I would go there and get it back. But it's time to face the truth. You only I'm follow this based. path to best Dimitar. It's ridiculous. Senseless even. Despite all you've endured, he remains your brother. Well, this is family needs to, really needs to get together around a meal, I think. They need their they need some family therapy, maybe. They need to they need to do like a cookout or something. Right? They just do a cookout. Uh <laughs> You'd sooner leave the capital than listen to her sermon any longer. Nevertheless, you could take her counsel and set a course for the Howling Hills or continue on your path to Kama Kamashi, Kamashi at 32. Well, this sounds like a really big fork in the road, doesn't it? It does. So what should we do? Because if, if we go on this new mission, because our sister said so, we don't even like us. Doesn't respect us, Paula. She loves us. This is tough love, Matthew. She sent us on a mission because she loves us. Sounds yeah. like we're doing her work. This is also, tough love. She... This is to help us. It's to help us release ourselves from the demonic Honestly, control of our people. I'll patron. be honest. I'll be honest. What it is is she kind of like demeaned our manhood based on our choices that we've made, and I really dislike that. So I think we carry on with our own path. I see. I think we should listen to her and maybe accept that maybe we've made some bad choices and we need help. Well, why did she have to say it like that then? Why didn't? Why did she have to demean us when she when she said it? Because families are weird, and sometimes they say things that are mean. Be a man. Do this. How about you? Don't know what she doesn't know what the first thing about being a man, does she? Right. That's the point. Be a man. Be a man. Here's what we do. Let's rip the book in half, and I do my mission. You do your mission, okay, and we'll okay. see who wins. We'll see who wins. Yeah, exactly. Let's uh, let's get let's uh, let's follow her advice. Then she's made it well in life, and I feel like that's what you want to do. So let's do that. That I do think that's a good idea, but we just did what I wanted to do, so we should do what you want to do. You want to well, do? Let's do what you want to do. We all know that what I want to do is going to kill us. <laughs> we don't know that. What I want to do might get us in trouble with our like demon patron. Yeah, and we and then we overcome the demon patron and become a, a, a white mage by the end of it. Great. Maybe, maybe not. I like how we both have different opinions on something, and then we care about each other, so we both argue for each other's. For opinion. choosing the other person's side. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> let's let's follow what she wants to do. Okay. So we go to page five. Not so easy going, is she? That's family, I guess. I don't understand. Ba, 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 ba. She was always closer with me than Dimitar. You shouldn't have listened to her. What good is one of Ockard's relics going to do against his own priestess? Against Stoneva? Nothing. But it will be an asset against Fasago. I have no confidence in him. 
So we can go one of two paths. It looks like this way 144, this way 156. Is it round the hill or through the hill? Looks like around the edge or yeah, like less on the like cliff side. It's what it kind of looks like, but it's hard to tell. 156. 156. Nothing bad ever happened in a cave. No. It's nice because uh, the panel numbers are also listed at the bottom of the page. So it makes it a yeah, little bit useful. easier to flip yeah. around, flip through. Okay. Oh, master, there's shelter. Whoever lives here isn't likely to be gone long, but the thought of a decent night's sleep is too good to pass up. Get I'm some rest before continuing to 179. You are a genius. Get... I hope we don't have to kill them, though, to sleep I hope bed. we regain some mana for resting. <laughs> Do we see a mirror? Was there a mirror in any... Oh, I forgot the pages. Was there a mirror in any of uh, the scenes with well, our sister? I think there was a mirror in the uh, sister's office, but we'll never know now. Thank you for that follow, your DM, Nick. Hold on, let me let me see if I can find... That's not within the heart of the game. Paul. Yes, it I is. Should... We should have noticed it. I'm just going to flip through and not pay attention to anything that we shouldn't see until we get to wherever we were. I think it was actually before this. I think so, right. It's, it is before this, right? Oh, there's a lot of people we could kill. <laughs> I bet there is. Wow. We could have gotten in a... Bad fight. Ah, sorry. 87, 64. Okay. If we go to 64, we might see a mirror in there. I'm actually not seeing any mirrors. Maybe there weren't any mirrors in her office. What's, the, what's on the right-hand side? The it looks like a window to me. Yeah, but a window, really, when you think about it, it's just a mirror that's see-through. <sighs> Yeah. Fair enough. We didn't get any. Ma we didn't get any mana. I don't think we got any bad. I think we get some for resting though, right? I, I, I'm, I'm, I bet we do. So. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 179 is the next page we go to. Yeah, she doesn't have mirrors. She has minions to tell her when her tiara thing is crooked. Uh oh. Oh dear. We might have to kill someone else. The D two or through. Sorry. This is this is small. What if the, we reason with them? <laughs> we'll try. The detour through Bekabad might not have been a waste of time after all. That is, if I can get my hands on this alleged sacred belt. I am certain that my sister still loves me, even though she doesn't show it as she once did. She only wants the best for me, despite her clear preference toward our older brother. I feel as though she feared for my life when I told her about Visago. I suppose that's why I trust her advice. Besides, the demon prince would not have been satisfied with a job well done. He would undoubtedly ask more of me before offering the upper arcana. I'm no fool. However, if this relic's power is true. I can use it as leverage. Blam! I knew there were intruders! What are you doing in my house? I needed shelter for the night. No one was here. Simple, really. Simple? But you ate my food, you filthy scoundrel. You better give me something good to make this right. I'll handle this, master. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, there's no need to kill this guy. Come on. <laughs> you can stop Grix or let him take care of things. Let's stop Grix. We need there's, to stop there's no, Grix. Grix. There's no reason control. to kill this person. This no. has gone too far. Yeah, like we don't need to kill him. Exactly. And I do think we need to be careful about our darkness rating. So, okay, we're stopping him at 166. This is our first chance to stop him, though, right? Uh, first... Yes, he's kind of just done it because of other things we've done oh no hornus redeemed chaos uh but we've already chosen it before i saw it so you're gonna have to well the next one we'll do it <laughs> what does that mean we'd have to choose the most chaotic option okay uh so which would be not stopping him uh Sorry. but i'd already flipped the page uh when i saw it so we'll see we'll see what the next thing is that feels chaotic no, Grix! I will let you live. Seems reasonable. No. But! Nothing left for you here. So you head to 178 to continue climbing the Howling Hills. That I was really hoping. worked out. I was really hoping we'd get like Something. 10 mana back. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, 178. So keep an eye out for, uh, we'll, we'll have to do the next chaotic thing. Ooh, this is pretty. Clop, clop. I wonder why this place is called the Howling Hills. Do you know, Master? No, no idea. All I know is that the birdmen live atop them. And you think they're going to give you one of their stolen trinkets out of the kindness of their hearts? From what I've heard, they're the king of sorts that leads them. If they're even the least bit civilized, we should be able to reach an agreement. If not, I'll have to teach them to fear me. I just think that's a bit much, right? Teach them to fear me? Well, Come he's on. a dark mage. Do we want to go uh, on the ice or up a snowy cliff? What's more chaotic? I feel like going on the ice looks scary, but this do it then. snowy cliff looks like it's got claws coming out of it, so... I think the ice is more chaotic. 238. Oh, gosh, my camera. Uh-oh. Okay, we start to walk on the ice. Crack. And I think nothing... No, if you don't read this, it doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> you have a fraction of a second before the ground devours you. Uh, I think the more chaotic thing to do is to go here instead of here. Let's do it. So we're going to 132. See if we can get across the ice. <gasps> oh my goodness. Go to 164 if you are proficient in either nav navitamentum or transmateria. If you are familiar with neither type of magic or you are out of mana, go to 192. Okay, we have transmateria. Good. So, which, we'll do that. that. And, we, and that's the one we both chose, so I can't throw this in your face. So, it, fair exactly. enough. Exactly. So, 164. We're going to try and stop this from happening. We're going to spend mana, which we have precious literal of. Could, do you think we could argue that the ice is reflective like a mirror? I would be willing to argue this at length, honestly, but no. <laughs> <laughs> You manage to solidify a layer of ice if you use Transmateria. It only costs you three mana. I think it's three mana. That's fine. great. The other one would have cost five. So that's cool. Five. So we're down to nine mana. That's bad. We need to get, we need a mirror. Okay, then this wants us to go to 186. Crack! Your quick thinking saved you from a rather terrible death. Hurry and leave the shores of the frozen lake behind you. <laughs> Big Leah, thank you for that follow. Uh, all right, so this wants us to go to 215. Ooh, look where we are now. A little ice cave cliff thing. Okay. So, look at that, Grix. Can we agree that this is not the sort of place the birdmen would live? Uh, we're getting blown away. I use more magic. Oh. Apart from using a powerful spell, your only chance of survival is hoping that whatever this is stops. And soon, if that's a bet you're willing to take, go to yep, 119. That's a, bet I, that's a bet we take. All right. We I think that will fulfill our chaotic... Uh, redemption. Well, we can't afford to use another powerful spell, I don't think. We need more mana, we really do. Okay, let's see what happens, 119. You did! <sighs> we just... Unfortunately, your grip doesn't last long, and the Howling Hill launches you off the precipice. You die before your mangled body even comes to rest. All we right. lasted a long time, I feel like. I feel like we did too. All right, so it looks like we're going to try and use some magic. No, we're done. We're dead. Hold up. Have to stop the start? No, we still got time. We got nine mana. I think we have to use Transmateria. Okay. Because the, our brain stuff, our mind stuff isn't going to, it's not going to do anything, right, in this kind of scenario. We could do it, use it on ourselves and pretend we're in heaven. True. So we die happy at least. Oh, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Not a terrible <laughs> idea. 
Uh, I will say now, this goes against the rules of the book. That's fine. We should just be, oh, because it wants us to start the whole story over again, doesn't it? Yeah. But I want to just go back to where we were. Yeah, we'll just go, obviously, we're going back and changing our decision, Paula. That's obvious. We're not Paula's starting over from the beginning. If you play at home, obviously start over from the beginning, make different choices. But um, we don't have more mana. Well, it's also a good thing, right? It's a chance for you to make a bunch of different decisions. Yeah. Right? It's cool to see all the different paths. Okay. So we're going to use Transmateria, so we add plus 10 to this. So from 215 to 225. What happens if we don't have yeah. enough mana to do the thing? Do we get to thank Hornist for getting us killed, says BB2442 in the chat, because Hornist redeemed our chaotic choices. Yeah, I'll say that was Hornist killed us then, right? <gasps> we are... Yeah, we're going to probably find out soon what happens if we're out of mana, Matthew. How much did that cost? You spent eight mana to provoke so the one. perfect landslide. Costly, but it did solve your wind problem. We have one mana left. We have got to find a mirror. What the heck? We need... Was there not mirrors in the cabin we slept in? There no, no, there's mirrors? no mirrors. Fancy no mir mirrors don't exist in this world. It's like the devil gives you an amulet. It's like, here, you got two mana every time you see a mirror. Only now mirrors don't exist. <laughs> Yeah. How about all the donuts you can eat? <laughs> but there are no donuts in this world. <laughs> okay. 256. You take a moment to catch your breath after yet another close call. Uh oh. Oh, God. We're still Tap. What? We're being picked up by a bird man. No Get him, pig. Squirming. Get him, pig. Now this Look time at the pecs he won't on kill. this birdman. He's he's buff. This birdman's got got some pecs going on. Yeah, Jeez, and a six pack. That's like a one, two, three. That's an eight pack, Matthew. Yeah, that's pretty good. He, I don't know. He, I don't know what he eats to be at that level, low level of uh, fat body fat percentage. Well, it's a lot of protein and little fat content in worms. You know what? That is such a good point. It's high protein. <laughs> So all we can do is wait and see where we end up at 272. We're like coming into like a runway kind of area. There's Grix. Bling, we get landed. A human has paid. What's a voice? What's a good bird voice? I'm just doing all the same voices. Uh. Ah! Like that. I bet you couldn't hear my whistling, could you? No, I couldn't. Yeah, never mind. Uh, uh, <laughs> Squaw! Like that. Ah, a human has paid us a visit? This is rare. Do you I hate wish voice. for war or peace? Peace. I come as a friend and also to offer a proposition. As a sorcerer, I come in search of magical objects, and I am ready to pay a handsome price for that. Gold? We already have plenty. I'll take some of that then as well. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, that sounds good. Add that in. Look at what he's got on. Ding, 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 ding. There's no doubt about it. That is indeed Ockrid's belt. Such an artifact that. would be of great utility if a conflict with Visago were to arise. Legend has it. The demons shudder at its sacred powers. If that is all, I will have one of my warriors take you back down to save you some time. They clearly do not fear you. You can attempt to seize the belt by casting an offensive spell, propose an exchange for another object noted in your possessions, uh, or Give them the seal. Yeah, Give them really. the seal of the town. That's all we have. Yeah. And would you like some writing materials? We can't. It literally <laughs> says not your writing materials. Yeah. <laughs> we could try and give them our stupid amulet of reflection, but then we'll start seeing mirrors. Yeah. Uh, or we could even try to pass of one of Awkward's servants waging a war against the dark forces. So do we want to try and trick them or make a trade? Because we can't use a spell because we have no... I think we should try to make a trade. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, we should offer them the seal probably. So at 122, we'll see what it lets us do right here 
I know that this belt is valuable. If you have the Amulet of Reflection and wish to offer it, otherwise use a temporary illusion enchantment on another one of your possessions. Is the amulet then? We can technically, we have one mana left, and we can spend it if you go negative. You just go to zero. But then okay, we can't do, do any other spells until we let's see do that then. I choose deception. All right. We're going to use a temporary illusion enchantment on another one of our possessions and go to 137. Because we don't want to give that amulet. Just use it on a reflection. snowball. What? Use it on just a bit of dirt. Yeah, really. <laughs> You spend one mana, literally all we have, to enchant your chosen possession. The enchantment will only last a few hours, long enough to put plenty of distance between you and the birdman. Add one to your darkness. Oh, well, we didn't even deceptive. kill anyone. Yeah, but we deceived a bird. And birds don't forget. Especially, We've wronged yeah, like a crow. Crows, yeah. Let me tell you. Add Awkward's belt to your possessions, then continue to 233. Do we think Awkward's belt is reflective enough to give us some mana back? I say it is, but it probably isn't. It's not a mirror, is it? No, we really need a mirror. We now have 15 darkness. <sighs> 233. Can we find an object that, tra that transforms all our darkness into mana? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? Uh, okay, 233. Oops. The king offers you a rather nerve-wracking return trip. However, there's no arguing that it's a shorter route, so they pick us up and fly us back again. Wicked. They deposit you safe and sound at the foot of the mountain at 243, where you continue towards your final destination. So this was a big detour, but got us that belt. Yeah, I think that was a good thing to do, honestly. And all we had to do was lie to a big bird. All we had to do was lie just a little. Spend the last point of mana. Actually, I should mark that we have zero mana. That's bad. It is bad. Um, I hope this bad, big bad that we have to fight lives in a, like a hall of mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two, 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 two. Uh, hello, you walk Roll into the games. haunted amusement the, the, the amusement park. <laughs> yeah. Uh, says lying to birds is even worse than lying to mammals. It's a proven fact. True. Okay, here we are in 243. In the idyllic countryside. Halt! You must... All my voices are the same. Halt! You must pay the toll to cross! A toll? Is this some kind of joke? One gold coin per person, so two, because I'll there are step two on of this, you. Step on this creature. For bridge maintenance. What, to sweep the gravel? You got a lot of nerve, you know that? You pay or you turn back. You could ignore him and continue. You could ask Grix to make money or punish the gnome. Let's punish this gnome. We're going to get so much darkness, Matthew. Punish the gnome. You want all that darkness? I say punish the gnome for trying to make a living. But it's a What grift. do you want to do? What do you want to do? We could punish him. We're just going to get darkness, probably. Punish the gnome. It's probably got no friends. Oh my gosh, just remind him of that. That's punishment enough. No one will miss this gnome. Well, I don't think we kill him. Oh my gosh, we're getting so dark. We're such jerks. Grix picks him up. Let me go, vermin! No! Drops him in the water. <gasps> oh no, we do kill him. Good. I wanted to kill the gnome. Unfortunately for the gnome, he never learned to swim. Had one tear <laughs> darkness before continuing. <laughs> I was born in the gnome. That's not our fault, though, Paula, is it? That's it is our fault. Gnome... We knew that would happen. No, no. The gnome that works in the bridge can't swim. No, I think that's the gnome's problem. We have right. 16 darkness. What kind of gnome doesn't learn how to swim? What gnome needs to swim? I guess one that works oh, on no. a bridge. I think one that works on a bridge. This is a higher chance probability of happening all the time. 
Oh, okay, 303. We are bad people. I would argue that this one wasn't a murder. It was more manslaughter. It was involuntary manslaughter, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I think it was voluntary, but it was, you know, it's... <laughs> The great temple of Akrid awaits me, although entering it without attracting attention will not be easy. The place is not often visited by inquisitors or mage hunters, but members of this cult are perfectly able to spot a practitioner of forbidden arts. I must be careful not to get mixed up with the crowd who have come seeking a miracle or some kind of healing spell. The main entrance is bound to be heavily guarded. There must be another way to get close to the high priestess of Akrid. That's where we're going. Isn't that pretty? He says, it's incredible. It's getting late. And yet there are still throngs of people there. Throngs, you say? Throngs. That does look like a very mirrored city. <gasps> it does. Also, the water under the bridge. Reflective surface. That I actually feel I, like could count. I don't know. Because then you could say any cup, of, any cup of water. You know, it specifically said mirrors. Well, of which we and have seen didn't zero. They did say reflective surface, you're right. Yeah, we've not seen a single mirror this whole game. Uh, darn you and your rules following. I'll kill a gnome, but I won't cheat. Thank you so much for that uh, donation, Frank Voigt. Hi, Frank. Incredibly kind. Thank you so much. Then we it's got to see, see that Frank. fun um, alert. Me come. Me coming sliding in. Yeah. Bit of Manny J sliding into your DMs. Hey, why not? Why not? Uh, that, won't, that won't happen. <laughs> we should take advantage of this moment. Come on, we're going. We should take advantage of this moment. <laughs> this moment. Uh, ew, it's probably turbulent water since the gnome drawn fast. Good point. Good point, Critter Nation. Yeah. I look forward to uh, writing this journal's final chapter. Please try your best to make it a good ending, Master. Why? You have doubts. Proceed immediately to 261. That is, unless you noted the Olga code word. In which case, continue your path. We have not. We don't know anything about an Olga, so... We don't. It's funny how you feel like you've seen everything when you get to this point of the book, and then you realize there's loads of stuff that you've there's not seen so at all, you have no we idea about. Do. We're gonna have to have to play it again. Oh, no. Oh, God. I Ding. know this woman. I knew he'd be passing through. What? Our We've favorite no person. Kill him? We're so dead again. Oh, no. <laughs> Go to 305 if you have a spore of Zasla. To 219 if you have any mana left. Sure don't. We don't have a spore of Zasla. How have we not seen... Single mirror. Any mirrors. <laughs> We're just dead. Or go to 257 if you have neither. Yeah, that's us. Too weak by your no journey. Mana. To use the magic needed to defend yourself. You succumb to the tenacity of the wretched mage hunter, Olga ah. Beg. We're actually dead dead this time. Paula, I think we are actually dead we, dead. We can't go back. You know what I mean? There's nothing we... to do. We literally can't. Where could we have seen mirrors? Did we miss the mirrors? And we've got the belt, right? Which I think if we didn't have, we'd probably have the that password if we went on the the yeah. path that didn't give us the but belt. But I think it was good to get the belt. It just we couldn't do it in time. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here that we've just missed. I mean, obviously because that's how it works. Uh, um, well, well, it's a pretty good time to finish it as well because there's a lot is. for people to explore in the books, and there's this is so one much of left in numerous. here. Yeah, for you to. Uh... Look at yourself. Man, I want to see how... I'm going to pay better attention to mirrors next time. We're both looking. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't see any, but there's got to be some somewhere. I just didn't pay what good enough hell? attention. That's on We're me for not paying better attention, you know? It is It is on you. That's what I wanted to really put what across to everyone. What if we had uh, searched that guy's body? You gonna check? Yeah. That goes against the um, spirit of Christmas, but fine. If we had just gone whatever was here, this is the only mirror I've seen. But we don't mm. know what was happening to get us to uh, 89. 
Well, yeah, let's let's we'll do one cheat and look and see what was in that guy's pocket. If he just searched. One Further. cheat. I'm just looking back at the panels with our sister. No, no, no. If I can find the panel where we killed that guy. I do blame. Okay, here Paula. we go. What? No, I'm just nothing. There's nothing for you to think about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, go to 88 to continue searching the body. Let's just see what we would have found on him. Probably not a mirror, but you know. I'm interested though. I bet. Oh, uh, we would have just gotten caught. Oh, would you really? Yeah, it's just like get caught by the voices that we heard. React. You react faster than they do. You flee to 42 without hesitation. I'm also 42. They're too numerous and too close. You won't be able to cast a spell. We'd pick 11. Ooh, a chase scene. 11 or 79. 79. We're doing the chasing now, everyone. Blong, blong. Oh, I'm knocking on a door. I'm trying to get into a door. It's locked. There's no use trying any magic to open it. A protective glyph is engraved in the wood. Turn around and make a run for it before it's too late. Not a gif. A gif? <laughs> a glyph. A protective yiff. <laughs> <laughs> then we see them. Fight, fight. The swiftest of the guards knocks you down before you can use any magic. Your dreams of glory flow into a large uh, pool of so blood death. in the streets <laughs> of Beckabad. Yep. Well, dead. death. Okay, well, that's interesting. All right. Cool. Man, leave that we honestly, based here. on, we could have died a lot more than we did, I think, in this. We did great. We actually I think got we did do great, far. yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. So that is a graphic novel adventure done made by uh, Van Ryder Games, who sponsored this stream today. A big thank you to Van Ryder for sponsoring. If you are watching this on YouTube right now, a link to their website and the Kickstarter for season five of graphic novel adventures uh, is in the description. So go check that out. So if you uh, click on the Kickstarter link, you'll see uh, what they're coming out with for their season five of this series. It'll be a variety of things. I don't know what it is, but like I said at the beginning, um, there's like season four was a Sherlock Holmes, a werewolf, a vampire, this dark mage. There was a kid uh, version, which I just don't have in front of me right now. So there's like a huge uh, variety in the kinds of things that they're putting out in this series. So if this seems cool to you, go check it out. And, oh, I can uh, actually see, I can see there's uh, Sherlock Holmes, Darkness Over London, The Obsidian, Zone 25, The Zombie One, and Sherlock Holmes Supernatural. Oh, uh, ooh, cool. So it's more Sherlock Holmes stuff. Um, yeah. Zombie One, a like post-apocalyptic one. I'm just looking at pictures, so I have no idea. And oh yeah, if you go to the Kickstarter link, you can see, yeah, the little, uh, that's really smart, Matthew, the little graphic that shows the ones they're doing for season five. So yeah, go check that out. Big thank you again to Van Ryder Games. A big thank you to you for being here. If you are watching this on YouTube, uh, we hope that you enjoyed it. If you would like to ever watch a stream board games live on Twitch, come on over to twitch.tv slash Paula Dimming for our uh, This Game Gets Dicey show. That's what this is. Uh, and it usually happens currently as the moment of recording this, Thursdays. Uh, so come check it out. Uh, We'd love to see you there, live. Big time. Yeah. Thanks, uh, all. Yeah, there we go. So thanks, everyone. Uh, we'll see you later. Hopefully see you over on Twitch. Bye. Bye, YouTube.